Hello everyone, um, so today I'm uh, going on my first night shift at placement. Um, I've done nights before, only two, but they were at my job, so not while I've been on my nursing training. Um, my first placement was only nine to five, and my second placement, although it was residential, uh, it was it wasn't really a lot to do at night, so my mentor said there wasn't any point because I wasn't going to get anything from that. Um, however, as part of you know, as registering as a nurse, and um, you have to experience 24-hour care. So that's you know, you do the, you do whatever shifts, early, late, long days, weekends, bank holidays, nights, you know, anything. Um, so I've done, I mean, I've done. I said I've done two nights before, so I have experienced it. Um, but I'm going for my first one at placement today. Um, I was. Uh, I remember I emailed my tutor about a week or so ago. Just to inquire as to whether there was like a minimum amount you had to do across the three years, so like you know you have to do twenty nights across the three years to get signed off. Uh, that's what I assume. I didn't know the figure. I just assumed there would be a set minimum, but there isn't, um, which is okay. I mean, um, so I I'm just going to do. I've got two this week. Um, at my placement there are two sites. There's the main site with three houses, which has six guys. So I'm working there tonight. And then tomorrow night, I'm doing the second house, which is the one house with the three guys. Um, so that'll be good. Um, I'm going to be, I know I'm going to be really tired. It's going to be really surreal. Like, no matter, I mean, I, I know I've done two already and I just, you know, it's, people can work nights for years and, you know, but the idea of just finishing work and people are going to bed and then sleeping during the day, it's going to be a nightmare because, you know, the traffic will go past my road, but my housemates will be up and about. It's just going to be like, uh, okay. Um, I wanted to, last night, my plan was to get, stay up really late till like 1 or 2 in the morning and then get up really early, like 7, so I'd have 5 hours sleep and then I'd get up, do stuff, and then about 2 or 3 o'clock p.m. I'd just be tired, so I'd go to sleep for 2 or 3 hours and then I'd wake up and go to placement. But <laughs> I fell asleep at 10 o'clock last night and I woke up at 7, so that's pretty much my hours of the sleep that I need. So now I've, uh, I'm not tired and I have to leave in about half an hour. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to sleep obviously when I'm there. Uh, obviously not. Or, or until then, it's not, I was only get 20 minutes probably. So, um, so it's not worth it obviously. But, um, you know, so I'll, by the time I, I'll finish at 8 tomorrow. By the time I get home, you know, if the snow causes any problems in the traffic, I could, might not be until 9. So I would have been up for 26 hours. Um, which might be, you know, normal for some people. You know, if they do that regularly, if they get out one day and they go partying all night the next day. But I've not done that for a long time. So, and then obviously I've got to go to sleep tomorrow, from like nine until one or two p.m. And then get some stuff done during the day before I go again for the next night. But I'm only doing two. Um, you know, it could be that my next placement. Uh, has quite you know interesting nights where you know a lot of stuff happens on the nights. Um, but I mean the the guys at my work apparently that you know they're in they go to bed from between nine o'clock and one a.m. Um, so you know in that time he can be you know with them and you know, you know assisting them with stuff and you know just you know um, support whatever they need. But um, after that it can be quiet so that's when you do all the paperwork and there's some cleaning and you have to do the hourly checks on the on the patients as well their observations um so that's it and then get the handover ready for the early shift start at 7 50 um so yeah um so hopefully um um it all goes um smoothly and you now i enjoy it i'll i'll learn hopefully i'll learn something from it um but like my mentor, my mentor did say, um, back to what I was saying a minute ago, that it is quite quiet at nights and not very eventful. Um, so that I wouldn't get much from doing more than two. Like, you know, she said I could, I only have to do the one if I wanted to, because obviously my tutor said there was no minimum. So one across three years is enough. Um, but I wanted to do one at the other site just for the experience. Really, I haven't spent, I spent, you know, I go, I go to the main site every morning and that's where I work every day. I've been to the second site for a meeting for like a couple of hours, um, one day. Um, um, so I have, and I've got a day shift booked there in two weeks. Um, so that'll be good to spend more time there as well. Um, 
but yeah, you know, she just said, you know, it's not going to be. I, I, I went out, I've, in my diary, I've got stuff like written down there, what's happening on this day. Um, so looking ahead, there's lots of things going on during the day that I wouldn't want to miss. So it, therefore, it's better that I, did, I get the nights done this week, and you know, they're all done. Um, and I'm not going to get anything from doing more than two at least. And like I said, maybe if my next placement is a bit better in terms of um, not better, that's the wrong word completely. Uh, I love my placement. <laughs> Cut that bit out. <laughs> Um, if my placement is a bit more um, eventful in the evenings and you know there's more stuff to do, um, then 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 it might be more. It could even perhaps there's there's more stuff to do in the day nights and the days and you know the days are very quiet and who knows you know who knows what setting I'm going to be in. Um, but yeah, I see it really. So and I guess just to go up from go away from me doing the night in general to you guys, you know. Like I said at the beginning, you will have to do a night. Um, perhaps to you know, if you're just if you're a prospective student starting, the rules might change. There will be a minimum. I think that's unlikely. Um, you know, so if you just get one, you know, if you've been working in care care for years, you may have been doing nights for years. So you know, it might not be an issue for you at all. Um, but you know, it's just you know, it's just <laughs> I had to sort of just trying to just my body clock the day before, but it didn't work obviously. So. Uh, 26 hours awake. So I've been, I've done more than that. I think I've, I've done more than 30 once a long time ago. I was 21. I went to drum and bass festival, and that that kept me for a long time. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, it's um, it's good, and you know, uh, it's important for you guys to experience because obviously, you know, you could be working nights on a regular basis. Like when I look at the rows of the permanent staff, you know, whether they're support workers or they're RNLDs, or whether they're the nurses, you know, I see. Day, 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 and some of them are going to say night, 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 day off, night, night, night. You know, they do, they do nights, you know, like clock work. Um, so that's it, really. So, wish me luck. Um, I'm probably not going to vlog about how it is when I get back. I might do, actually. I might be really, I might, I might do one. Um, and you probably will see the marks in my eyes when I get, I've been up for so long then. Uh, or I might just wait till I've done the second one, so like in two days' time, and say, so sort of summarize my experiences. Um, but then, you know, I've got plenty of stuff to be doing. I think from from like from like eight until twelve or one, I'll be with the guys, you know, doing whatever they need me to help them do, um, whatever they need my support with. And then from then on, I've got um, unless unless the nurse in charge gives me little jobs to do, I have got other work I can be getting on with. I'm going to be learning my me learning my meds. I've got to learn to get signed off. And um, I've got a few reflective pieces of work from other stuff I've been experiencing to write about. And the article that uh, my mentor wants me to write for the trust publication, um, Archway, and uh, the care plan for a patient that was admitted uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'm still working on some of those. That'll keep my time, definitely. And then obviously doing the hourly obs on the patients, um, dealing with any other issues that arise. Um, so yeah, that's it really. So wish me luck, and I'll vlog how it goes in a day or two. See you guys.